Let's talk about something ridiculous. This giant Death Star of a computer showed up at my computer office, and I had to repair it. Well, it's probably not getting repaired because it has a motherboard failure, but that's beside the point. This thing is definitely the epitome of more money than sense because this thing has so much money in it, and yet, the decisions don't make much sense. Ignoring graphics cards and cases that have enough room for four motherboards and all that, let's talk about the processor. An AMD Threadripper 2970WX. 48 threads of processing power. Now this thing is a 250 watt CPU. It came out in 2018, and it was, for a long time, $1,300. You can buy an entire gaming PC for the price that this thing costs. $1,300. Now, compare that to the Ryzen 7 2700X of the time, which, yes, it's 16 threads instead of 48. But, you're talking about an overall performance score that is more than half of the Threadripper. So what were they doing that needed all this processing power that they would spend a thousand extra dollars on this beast of a CPU? Managing a business. This high-end gaming rig with the best consumer processor money could buy and a high-end graphics card and all that. This thing is a business management machine. It's basically a glorified Microsoft Word box. I can guarantee you that Microsoft Word has never run faster. However, it doesn't make sense to buy something like this. The Threadripper chips are designed for highly specific workloads that benefit from strong parallelization. Most things can't do that. So it makes no sense to buy them, and even worse, chances are that even though this guy spent a thousand extra dollars on his CPU, he probably actually got a slower computer in the end because of it. You see, the Threadripper is designed for high, multi-threaded workloads. It's not designed for single-threaded workloads. And if you compare the Threadripper of the time to the Ryzen 7 of the time, you see that the single thread rating in benchmarks is actually lower. It's something like 5% lower for the Threadripper than it is for the Ryzen 7. That's right, the cheaper chip is faster. This is not a new trend either. I was actually quite angry when I found out that a Ryzen 5 3600 could process things through handbrake almost as fast as my Ryzen 7 3700X. Even though the Ryzen 7 has more cores, more threads, it's supposed to be faster, the 3600 basically kept up with it. It was, uh, I believe, a lower wattage, it was definitely a lot cheaper, $100 cheaper, I believe. Even though you buy a high-end chip, it doesn't mean you're getting high-end performance. CPUs are not as simple as here's a number and that's how fast it goes. You can't just throw money at a problem. You have to understand what your problem is. So we're faced with the prospect of repairing this gigantic beast of a machine. What do you think I'm going to tell the guy to do? Let me just be straight with you. The guy already asked me to give him the exact motherboard model so he can go dig one up himself and send it to me so that I can just put it in. So that's kind of a lost cause, but if we were going to analyze this rationally, what would we do? First of all, if you want to get the best value for your money, you would probably throw out the Threadripper setup entirely and trade up to a Ryzen 7 or 9 in the 5 or 7000 series. I've done some comparisons. The Ryzen 7 7th generation, the 7700X, granted it's five generations newer, it's four years newer, but the Ryzen 7 is actually faster than the Threadripper 2970WX, both in overall speed and in single core. In fact, it dominates in single core. While it's only a little bit faster if you do multi-threaded workloads, the Ryzen 7 blows the Threadripper out of the water with almost double the speed. And the Ryzen 7's $315 today. These Threadrippers are still insanely expensive. That's the thing, the single core speed is faster. Performance is not as simple as a single number. What you're doing matters, and if you're running Microsoft Word and a web browser, chances are you're not exactly getting the benefits of multi-threaded workloads. You're probably not better off buying a machine that sacrifices everything to maximize the speed at which you can run heavily threaded stuff. Your $1,300 was a waste of money. 
And that sucks. That extra thousand dollars represents the cost of another machine, or the cost of a really sweet 4K monitor, maybe even 5 or 6K monitor. You could get a whole lot of really sweet hardware to throw with that machine if you didn't waste it on a CPU. But as I said, more money than cents. Blow all the money on this chip. Don't care. Why? Got oodles of money. Got enough money to buy a tank for a computer. You know, for all I know, the guy's gonna strap a motherboard to the outside of a rocket ship, blast it off into space, and then use a 5,000 foot cable, well I guess it'd have to be longer than that, 500,000 foot cable to link the thing back to a monitor on the ground. I have no idea. If you're going to buy a CPU, if you're going to spend money on something, do a little research and understand what you're buying before you just throw money at the problem. Chances are you're going to waste your money if you don't spend it intelligently. Some people work smarter, some people work harder. People who throw a lot of money at problems without thinking about them often get ripped off. So the message is, be careful what you buy. You might be burning yourself. Thanks for listening. Take care.